Doctors tell us antibody tests are available, but not many people are getting them done. So I did today, and here's what it was like. And then we give you these two forms to fill out. It starts with a simple questionnaire. Then doctors take your temperature. If you have one, doctors tell us they'll test you for COVID-19 first. If you don't have a fever, Chris Acharno, owner of Acute Kids in Webster, starts the antibody testing process, which doctors are still researching. There's a couple of things we don't don't know, but basic virology tells us that if you're exposed to a virus and your body develops an antibody, you have some sort of innate immunity. We just don't know how much it is and how long that's going to last. She draws a small vial of blood and sends it to the lab. David Perlin is a biomedical researcher working with medical oncologist Dr. Michelle Donato. They say if you test positive, then donate plasma, your plasma can help to speed recovery in people with the virus. Doctors say only 20% of people have enough antibodies, so the more people who get tested and donate plasma, the better the chance they have to treat people who are sick. One of the coolest things that's come out of us doing this in the past week is we have had a large number of people that come in saying that they're doing this because they want to help the human race. And if they have antibodies, they want to be able to give them back and participate in these studies to help make sick people better. Charno says she's had several people come in and get the test done, but she tells me nobody has tested positive yet. In Webster, Rebecca Fath, News 8.